Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be an interesting one. Today's video we're going to play a game called Alone.exe. This game is made by Novaware. He's the one that made Sonic2.exe, Sunshine.exe and Insanity.exe. When you go onto his account on GameJaw and look through his games, you'll notice that the game is not on public so it's not, so you cannot see it whatsoever. So this game is on Unlisted, so you have to get the link to play this game. The way I found this game was... I was on YouTube and I saw Luigi Kid Game and play this game and I went onto his video and in the description he had the link to the game and I clicked it and I seen that I was able to download the game so I downloaded it and here we are now we're able to play this game so yeah let's get right into it quick message from Novaware the game you're about to play may contain flashlights and loud noises this will be my last horror game on Game Jolt I know a lot of you guys dislike these EXE games that's why I'll stop making those. But remember, this game was made by Novaware. That means it's good. Or at least better than most of the EXE games out there. Happy Halloween and have fun. Use space key to interact. Okay, so arrow keys is the move. So we have no sound. It's too dark in there. So we're playing another Pokemon horror game. And this one is made by Novaware. Never knew Novaware made a Pokemon horror game. So this is very cool. So it is. So there's nobody there. Okay, we can go down here. And then down here. That's a weird truck blocking the way. It's so quiet. Hello. Who are you? There's a sign. They are all gone. Who's they? Who are you? Where are you running off to? Oh, you're going in there. I can't return now. I wanted to explore what's out there. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back here. So you have to use Task Manager to close out the game. So, yeah, you can't click X out of it and you can't press Escape. So, that's interesting that you have to use Task Manager. So, can we go back here? I don't want to go back. Anything over here? Nope, there was nothing to explore. There was no point exiting this game. So let's see, what's over here now? There's a sign. You should have left this place. Pikachu? Uh, Pikachu? He's just flashing on my screen. That's a creepy image, though. Kind of like, with the, like, teeth. It's like when I played Hotel Mario 6 at the end of the game. Like, when you're kind of, like, finished with it. Like, Mario just, like, appears on your screen, like, on your desktop. Like, keep flashing. This is what it, like, reminds me of. Pretty creepy, so it is. Like, Pikachu, get off my screen. Like, I don't want to see you. We got a long way to walk. Like, how far do I have to walk? Never mind. That's how far. Pikachu. Um, stay longer on my screen. This is creepy. I have Pikachu staring at me longer. I have this weird audio in my ears. What is going on? There's someone there. I've been waiting for your arrival. Red, who are you? What have you done to me? I should be the one asking this question. You don't remember, do you? It's your fault. You let many other innocent souls die in by playing those stupid and lame.exe games. It doesn't matter if the games are good or bad. People have still died. You feel proud of yourself, Dylan Hockner. Yes, I'm talking to you. I won't let you do this to me. This game has just begun. Oh, we're back on my desktop. Oh, someone's running back. That's cool. He's like running behind me, going from ear to ear. That's creepy. No, no, no. That's creepy. It's like someone's behind me. Show yourself. So creepy. What was that sound? I think that was like finance of Freddy's. <laughs> so like we can't go up here now because the pat is gone you know spooky so we have to go maybe up here let's see can we go in here it's too dark in there okay so can't go back in there you know so can we go over here there's nobody there so i guess we can only go down here the truck should be gone now yep okay it's just what to say uh go away jump scares go away there will be no coming back for you okay let's go You can never leave. There's nobody there. Can't leave there. You can never leave. There's nobody there. You can never leave. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. You can never leave. It's too dark in there. Can't leave there. This is where you end. Goodbye, Red. So everyone, that's the end of Alone.exe. That's where the game ends. I know you might be shocked like saying that can't be the end. But yeah, that is the end. Like I've looked up YouTube videos on this game and... They all got the same ending. That's where the game ends. So I didn't expect it to end there, but I guess that's how the game is supposed to end. I guess you can never leave. I guess I think that's Lavender Town. So you can never leave Lavender Town. So, but yeah, this was a good game by Novaware. I don't know why it's on Unlisted. It should be on public, but it's on Unlisted. So I will leave a link to this game in the description if you want to check it out and play it for yourselves. The game will be in the description. 
But yeah, since this was a short game, I'm gonna play another one. Where am I? Welcome everyone to Pokemon.exe. This is a re-upload of an old game, so it is. Okay, I just press like my arrow keys and I don't know what's going on. Up in the top left corner is made with like Game Maker. So as I said, this is an old game. I don't know why the audio is so low. That is not my volume or me turning like the volume of the game down. This is the audio of the game. It's very low. I don't know why. Oh, there's Pikachu. Hello, Pikachu. <laughs> but what's going on to my screen? It's like not on full screen, just like a bit. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Press enter. No. Um, mouse, maybe? Yes. Okay, now I'm back in full screen. So, where am I? Like, <laughs> I'm just walking over everything. So this is made with game... <laughs> I was talking Pikachu. <laughs> so this is made with Game Maker Lite. So <laughs> that shouldn't have like scared me. But since I was talking, I was not focusing on it. And I got scared by Pikachu. Imagine that. Hello, Pikachu. How are you keeping? Oh, um, <laughs> we're just walking over everything. So this is interesting. What's this? Remember me? No. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know if this like game was a part of another game or whatever i'm not too sure because why does it say remember me because i don't remember you <laughs> what is with these pikachu jump scares it's over well it's not over clearly since i can keep going <laughs> these old pokemon horror games here's pikachu and there we go game over now it's over <laughs> let me click with the mouse anything no I watched Luigi Kid Gaming's video on this game and he got this at the end of the game. So I'm guessing this is the end of the game. So this game was something, wasn't it? <laughs> so everyone, that was Alone.exe and Pokemon.exe. I will leave a link to these games in the description. So make sure to go over there and check them out and play them for yourselves. They're short Pokemon Hari games, but they're good. So they are, you know, they're short, but you know, they're all right. Alone.exe was definitely better than Pokemon.exe because... It was longer. It was probably like five, six minutes of gameplay. And like Pokemon.exe was about two minutes of gameplay or less. And a lot more jump scares in Pokemon.exe than Alone.exe. But it was interesting that I was able to play Alone.exe because I never expected to play it since it's not in public. It's on Unlisted. But I'm happy that I was able to play it because all the comments on Alone.exe are from seven, eight years ago. So 2017, 2016. So this game is old. And look, I wish the game was on public. I don't know why it's on Unlisted. But look. At least we're able to play it for now. Hopefully Novaware doesn't put it on private. Hopefully. But you never know in the future. So at least we can still play it for now. So the link to the game will be in the description. And Pokemon.exe. The links to them games will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed these Pokemon horror games. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you won't miss all my videos. And if you're going to subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications. So you'll know if I want to upload. And you'll never miss all my videos. Comment what you think about these games. Have you ever heard of them? Have you ever played them? Have you never heard of these? Have you watched other YouTubers playing them? Share to people who are interested in Pokemon or Pokemon horror games or and share to people who might not be interested in horror games. I appreciate if you do all those things because it helps on my channel and helps on my video if you do that. Thanks everyone for watching today's video.